Hello guys and welcome back to SandVFX. Today I'm back with another exciting tutorial on Rayfire. So, this is what we'll be creating today. We'll be creating this simple text shattering effect using Rayfire. It's actually a very pretty and uh, easy technique. Mm. So, uh, I hope everyone will be able to follow along. Okay, let us begin. So, your I'm in 3 as max. Now, I'll begin up by creating a text. So a text and let me type in sand VFX. Okay. Then I want to name our text um our sh sharing text. Okay. Then I'm going to add a modifier called Bevel. Okay. You can also use extrude but I'm using Bevel. So for the start outline I'm gonna leave it to Jerome and then height to about level one height one and outline to maybe 0 0.5 okay then level two height to about five okay that's enough no outline and level three height about one and outline negative 0 0.5 okay so this will create a nice bevel text for us okay bevel so instead of bevel you can also use extrude so extrude you can just create a simple extrusion of text so but I prefer bevel okay so let me turn off the selection bracket by pressing J key and turn on a face with uh, F4 then I'm gonna rotate my text 90 degree okay and then maybe move it back up Oops, it is tilted a little bit okay let me move it up and then tilt it again okay maybe about 25 to 30 degree okay so that when our text falls our S is going to strike first at the ground and then rest of them will strike okay let me move it a little up then now uh, we're going to animate our text so let me turn on auto key set the key go to about frame 50 and then move our text down below our grid okay so we can now turn off the auto key okay now we have this simple text animation okay now before shattering our text uh, I would like to prepare our material for our text so that later on after we have created our pieces of our text uh, our scene will be too heavy so it will take some time to load our material so we want to prepare that first okay so let me open our material editor okay so uh, before we I want to change my render to V-Ray okay it's already V-Ray okay I've set my V-Ray render as default so it is already V-Ray so I prepare our material for our text first so here I want to select mm, my V-Ray material okay then I'll choose a color of maybe about red Okay, it's kind of red and I want some reflection on it so a little bit down um, oh, I don't want to just create very heavy material so maybe this will be fine for now I think mm. yeah I can also add in some glossiness a little bit reduce down our reflection glossiness to maybe 0 0.9 maybe increase the subdivision to about 12 okay yeah, I think I am that'll be pretty fine okay so I've applied that to my text okay and then I'm gonna create another material V-Ray material and I'm going to make it pure white okay that's fine uh, okay now I'm going to create a V-Ray plane okay create a V-Ray plane and then add my white material to that very plain okay okay now uh, let us play with ray fire first I want to convert this to an editable oh, sorry editable poly okay uh, then we'll go to ray fire open up our ray fire floater okay then add in our text to impact object text and materials will be glanced that will be good okay 
we don't have anything else so it's all right okay down to fragmentations I have it set it to Warner uniform that will be fine and iterations maybe up to 120 Oops. 120 and maybe this one too maybe about 15 okay we want a little, little more pieces or maybe we'll demolish our object so maybe I'll reduce it to 100 only I think that'll be fine we'll demolish it later on okay and then on the physics we have our option called home grid as ground so this option enables our grid to be as a ground plane so if you don't have a newer version of free fire in older version there is no this option so in that case you might want to create a box and add it and then add it to a static object so since in newer version we have the options called home grid as ground so we'll just use this option to use our grid as a ground plane so that our text will strike onto this grid okay so the next thing we have turn on the demos geometry options okay and I have just increased bump this material sold DT to 0 0.5 I think by default it is to 0 0.2 mm. all the other settings are fine for now okay so I have my physical engine to physx okay so I think uh, everything's uh, pretty fine first of all let me check uh, if the amount of fragmentation is okay by fragmenting my impact object uh, and let me see that okay so I have about 61 objects okay that's pretty fine we'll demolish it later on okay so mm, that's fine so we can now run on preview okay and also I have already turned on demolish geometry so when these objects collapse or uh, falls down uh, when they interact with each other it again breaks into more small pieces so we'll have lots of pieces when it falls down okay so let me do a simulation do my simulation okay so it'll take some time okay okay now our text our uh, uh, breaking into pieces so it will take some time to fragment okay the simulation will take some time so I'd like to pause my simulation for a while okay okay so I have completed the simulation okay uh, now it's getting too slow because we have got a lot and lots of pieces so here we have the animation okay our text is falling and it is shattering into pieces okay so since we have already set up our materials uh, let me just uh, go ahead and do a quick render first of all let me go to indirect elimination okay it's taking some time okay indirect elimination turn on uh, global elimination and ambient occlusion as well and down here I want to go to environment override the GI environment okay also go to rendering environment and choose the background color to the same as this one I really like the blue color so I'm just using that okay and let me do a quick render okay let's wait for a while Oops. taking some time okay so that's what we got we have got s lots of pieces of text shattering shattered text okay so you can just zoom in choose your preferred view and then render out your entire scene okay let me have on one more preview a closer look into it so how is it looking Okay, taking some time. Okay, um, I hope it's almost done. Okay, okay, just a few.
few more seconds. Okay, now here we go. Okay. Okay, it's uh, looking good. Okay, since we have lots of pieces, it is taking some time to calculate them. So our rendering is taking a lot of time. Okay. So now that's look good. Okay, done. So you can just render out your entire scene with your preferred views. Okay, uh, so go to here and choose your range. If you have more than 100 frames, it will automatically be more than that. And then you can just choose your desired size and just save your output and then done. Okay, uh, so lastly I want to say something that this technique actually is not so useful technique or uh, it's just a basic uh, technique of using ray fire in the basic steps so I don't think it will help any intermediate or advanced users but for some beginners it's really fun to use uh, so you can really create some cool stuffs um, with this so, um, so I once again want to say that it's just a beginner tutorial I just wanted to so quick demonstrations on creating some cool stuff so you can also create a uh, s uh, same shattering effect with other objects like cup or plate or any other statues and so on so uh, if you have any problems you can just um, hit me on the comment with your problems I'll try to reply back to it um, Okay then, till then uh, I want to say goodbye, um, see you next time with some more advanced tutorials um, and a lot more. Thank you for watching, bye bye.